I think the way Seminis is breeding programs, we're fully focused to bring grower value. So there's one factor of labour saving. Everybody I talk to around the world is telling me, where's your biggest cost and where's the biggest difficulties you have is, is labour. And in general, the way we're working as a breeding organisation is we're looking for that added value of labour savings, so varieties that are easy to harvest, are easy to, easy to grow, and just generally broad adaptability and consistency. They're the, the really big factors we work on. So in Australia, for example, when they're growing in, in Melbourne and then you've got to ship everything to Darwin, that's a huge operation logistically. So when you've got varieties that can handle that logistical process with better shelf life and other attributes, that helps growers grow in one Pacific region but know they've got the reliability to, to ship to other regions. So some of the things we've been working on in, in the cauliflower portfolio is where the biggest issues are and if you talk to the retailers the biggest issue is the waste levels of cauliflower because it's a white curd and it's easily marked and bruised and damaged so we've developed a, a, a concept that's called Curdivex and this is a, a cauliflower that stays white in, in the field so it doesn't need so much self cover so it's easier to see and harvest. It's more uniform so the growers are getting the benefit of having it one or two passes so they're maximising the yields and, and, and harvesting efficiencies. But then also it has the added benefits of post harvest which is where most cauliflower struggles. If you look in the supermarket or the retailer here you can see the brown marks or the bruising on the cauliflower heads where the crews have actually put the hand on it. Curdivex doesn't show that that bruising is as much or as significant and it holds its white colour. So most cauliflower will deteriorate in cool chain. So if you're shipping in California or in Australia, for example, they're shipping sometimes 20 days from harvest to get it to certain locations in Australia. It gives them that post-harvest benefit. So when the retailer it gets on the consumer shelf, the actual quality they see will be far better. One of the biggest problems with the cauliflower today is, is, is the self-cover, that the harvesting crews can't see it. So it's actually hindering them with the speed they can harvest cauliflower. And with this variety, it's just got enough self-cover. So the plant architecture is just a nice fluted plant type. So the crews can walk through and see that there's curd ready. So they don't have to touch the curd to harvest it. Where normally they'll be rooting around in the plant because it's quite a thick biomass. So it really gives them a speed of harvest. And because of the plant uniformity, normally you would harvest a cauliflower crop four or five times. With this, we've seen that some of the trials we've done so far, you can do it in one or two cuts because of the uniformity but every grower we've shown has seen the benefit from the whiteness. They really like the white colour and how it holds its white colour in the cool chain. I don't think most people know that cauliflower should be white. I think they've been so used to it on the shelf and so that's a, a consumer advantage that it can really get the cauliflower that, that it should look like and not have this miscoloured or misshaped because of how it's growing. I think the whole chain wins so that the, the consumer gets a whiter cauliflower that looks far more attractive and it's more visual appealing on the shelf the retailer gains because there's less waste on the shelf and then the grower benefits from the easier harvesting, the better quality, more harvest uniformity. So it's a win-win for everybody. So we're really looking at utilising labour and making things easier for growers.